I've heard the, the explosion and uh, then a couple of minutes later uh, my friend called me up and uh, he told me uh, the war is on. Nothing's been delivered. Neither food nor medicine. So what you do is you, you walk or you take a bicycle uh, for a trip in search of uh, money, food and medicine. Most of the coffee shops uh, sell now potatoes and uh, cabbage instead of marshmallows and uh, cakes. At first it was quite overwhelming and uh, the Ukrainians expressed all the emotions that uh, they felt about the invasion by uh, looking into the eyes of the Russian soldiers. They kept on doing this uh, every day for the first uh, three weeks. Probably you've seen at some point that the Ukrainians started uh, pushing back two Russian uh, lorries. And um, on the same day we've received a report from Russia uh, that uh, some of the generals uh, ordered the police forces in Kherson to suppress the demonstrations. I think, uh, I think the, uh, the Ukrainian demonstration movement uh, crossed some lines and uh, it made uh, some Russian officials very angry. We hear the explosions uh, become hotter and louder. And yesterday night I, I've seen my uh, hanging door vibrate uh, like I've never seen it vibrate before. The Ukrainians are getting closer to town. Uh, we want our army to liberate us, but uh, we don't know what happens afterwards, and we are very much afraid of uh, what is happening to the city if uh, the Ukrainian army, army liberates us and the Russians uh, remain on the left bank of Dnieper. And if they start shelling at the city, no one really knows, but until now they've been shelling every city they could if it's not in their hands. <laughs>